Minimalism has has fallen into chapters along the way for me. It started as a very emotional recognition of habits and purchases and stuff, the what's. And then it kind of phased into this why. Why am I doing this? Why do I have this? Why why do we have so much trash? And and now it's it's taking a little like branch chapter into zero waste living. And I'm so excited about this. Good morning. It's 6 a.m. My coffee's cold. I've been up for an hour. I've been sitting here at my computer just reading hundreds of comments from you guys and the emails that you sent me all about zero waste. I feel like this part, I feel like this chapter is explosive for me. There are so many choices that I could make that would lower our waste immediately. Um, and some choices we could zero our waste from our kitchen. And I'm specifically fo focusing on kitchen right now. The laundry um, and the rest of the house and other decisions are going to come as I, as I foundationally, that's not a word, as I change the foundation of how we uh, approach our kitchen. Because for me, the kitchen is systemic in the rest of the house. If the kitchen's dirty, the rest of the house is dirty. If the kitchen is clean, I'm pretty motivated to clean the rest of my house. Um, and in the kitchen, I have all of our cleaning products. So making a change there in the kitchen cleaning products will make a change throughout the house. It is the hub and the heart of our home. We are always in the kitchen and right off, right, there's a little chute off our kitchen into the dining room. We're, we're in there so much. So by me making these zero waste or lower waste changes in our kitchen, it's going to affect the rest of the house. I am super excited and passionate about this chapter of my life. I, we talk about feelings on, did I even say who I am? Hi, if you're new here, I'm Erica. <laughs> I share videos every week about minimalism and trying to make life simple. And this week I am, in this video today, I woke up juiced, ready to go without coffee and excited to learn about zero waste. You guys have been educating me so much. I, I got a response on the community page yesterday that I was not anticipating. A sponsor had approached me about um, offering you guys a discount on their microfiber cloth. And so I posed the question, is $30 too much for a six pack? It felt like too much to me. Um, they actually priced it at 37. I got them down to 30 for you guys. And it still felt too expensive because it didn't include shipping costs. And so I asked you guys, what do you think? And overwhelmingly you said, yeah, too expensive which I agreed with and I was anticipating. What I was not anticipating is the response about microfiber cloths. I thought I made a great decision switching from paper towels to microfiber cloths. It was a better decision, but it still has an environmental impact that I was unaware. I thought I'd made a great decision, but there's so much to learn when you, when you start to research sustainability and understanding the effects that your decision has. There's so much that goes into it. I refuse to... I refuse to beat myself up about switching to microfiber, even though it is damaging to the environment, because I didn't know that then, but I know that now. So I can make a change to switch from microfiber cloths to bamboo cloths. You guys have been recommending bamboo cloths or cloth. A lot of changes that I could make for the cleaning products, just reusing any clothes that, you're, that are not donatable, you just cut up and use as rags. Um, and switching my cleaning products, I have been watching Shelby's channel. I'll link her below. Thank you so much for recommending her. And I, she's awesome. She has such an inspiring zero waste lifestyle. And please, if you, if you don't know who she is, check her out, but she's, I'm binge watching her. The last three days I've been binge watching Shelby and she has so many resources that she provides and she's relatable and real. And I just connected with her immediately and she inspires me to do differently. I've been jotting down lots of ideas and changes that we can make in our kitchen. Um, yes, it's a paper, right? I know, lower ways, but I'm very much a paper person. Um, I, I just, it's the way my brain works. I need to write things down for them to be processed. I also, um, I'm a terrible audio learner. I can't, audiobooks, are not my jam. 
I can't hear a book and know what's happening. I have to look at it. I have to read it. So I'm very visual in that regard. Um, and for me, making digital notes isn't my creative flow. For me, I like to I like to write it out and draw lines and doodle and make all kinds of like thought processes that I work out on paper. So that's just my style. Now, this paper is recyclable, which is great. I use <laughs> every inch. I've been looking at B. Johnson's Zero Waste Living and 101 uh, Zero Waste Tips. Uh, so those are the two books I found so far. Tell me some extra books that I could read. If you have been around here a little while, you know that I am passionate about reading and I am, I very much am willing to learn and willing to change. And I make changes based on data. I make changes based on uh, research. I, I like to absorb all the information that I can via books, blogs, you guys, however it is, take it all in and figure out the changes that are going to be best for me and my family. And that's just the way I go. So I am diving deep into research about zero waste living, loving it. I'm loving this chapter of minimalism. Side note, <laughs> we found a house to rent um, the new station at the new for the new tour. We take a uh, lease ship because we're renting lease. Sure. We take lease ship in 16 days. My husband wants to get us there as quickly as we can. The Navy can't move us in 16 days. It's just the way the Navy works. So we're going to move some things ourselves, uh, and which is fine because it gives us the freedom to be able to address the Pennsylvania house the way we need it and go through our things and make sure we're not moving anything to the new house that we really don't want there. We're going to deal with it in the Pennsylvania house and get the Pennsylvania house ready for sale, rent. I, I don't really know. These are all major life decisions that <laughs> we haven't made yet and we have to make this month. So I'll just share a couple of things that I'm toying with that I'm going to start doing. Grocery bags. I get groceries delivered in the pandemic. It's just the way it was. But now that my husband is home, I can go out and get groceries without the kids. That was my problem before. I didn't want to go to the grocery store, mask up the kids, mask me up just to go grocery shopping when I could have it delivered. It was a convenience I needed when my husband was deployed. It was a safety that I needed when my husband was deployed in the, in, during the pandemic. So I can change that now. I cannot have groceries delivered in those terrible plastic bags. Um, and I can go to the grocery store with my own reusable bags, which I have, and go to the farmer's market with my produce bags and get the things that we need without using plastic bags. I'm actually really excited to do that for two reasons. One, it's a great decision for the earth. And two, I get to be by myself without the kids. Another change that I've been making in the last couple months is buy more real food and less packaged food. That's just part of my health journey. It goes in parallel with my zero waste journey. So that's pretty awesome to just buy vegetables without the packaging um, or fruit without the packaging. And uh, we have farms around us and where we're moving, there will be a farmer's market and uh, farms in the area that we can drive to. And the kids and I can go strawberry picking and apple picking and do all the good things without packaging. It takes more effort, it takes more intention, but it doesn't feel like effort when you really wanna do it. And I really wanna do it. I really wanna make these lifestyle changes so it doesn't feel hard. Um, it, it'll feel different and uncomfortable at first and it'll be more time consuming and less convenient, but it'll be great because I'm excited about these changes and teaching the kids how important it is to make these changes. You guys told me about beeswax bags and beeswax, beeswax covers. I do buy those Ziploc bags. I'm not gonna buy those anymore. I don't, I buy them for food storage, but I also have the glass Pyrex. So um, I need to investigate food storage as a category itself. I'm buying the drops dishwasher things. Uh, Shelby does it. She puts her drops dishwasher pods in a glass container under her sink. So I'll probably just try it the same way. I'm gonna start composting. I'm gonna switch to cloth napkins. I have never found a cloth nap napkin that you, when you wash it, the bottoms don't like curl up on their own. That bugs me. <laughs> so I want to find a cloth napkin that I don't have to iron. Iron. I say that word weird. I-R-O-N. I say that word weird. Iron. We already recycle. We're making changes in our coffee routine. So that's a lot of things I just said. 
<laughs> that apparently I'm gonna start doing when we get home tomorrow. I'm gonna start making changes and now my mindset has shifted that I'm going to start making the changes that match that mindset. And the great thing about all of these things that I've named, my life will be simpler. Um, those things are just simpler. They're more pure and just more, more in tandem with the minimalist lifestyle that I've been working towards. And I, I'm super passionate about this in case you can't tell, okay? Here's the Zero Waste Kitchen coffee routine that I've talked about. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.